All right, guys, George Stoy of Soonerscoop.com here, joined by Ryan McGee of ESPN. Ryan, I want to talk a little bit about Oklahoma heading to the SEC. We're here at SEC Media Days. Just what are your expectations for Oklahoma heading into the SEC next year? I am so excited for SEC fans to go to Norman. Yeah. You know, it, I think it's one of the most amazing places to cover college football game. Uh, I haven't been there in a couple of years because we take Marty McGee on the road in the SEC, but prior to that I was there. I, I mean, I, I basically paid taxes there when Baker Mayfield was there. I was there all the time. And so it's such an amazing game day experience and to me maybe nationally underrated. Yeah. And so I'm so excited for my SEC people. I went to Tennessee and, you know, they got to experience Norman and they yeah. won't shut up about it. And yeah. so I'm excited for them to go there. Just like I remember, I remember Baker Mayfield being so excited about going to Neyland Stadium in, in, in Knoxville because – you hear about it, but you don't ever get to play. Yeah. And so I'm excited for people to experience Norman number one. And number two, I have no I, I think I think Oklahoma's gonna be fine. You know, it, it's one of the it's one of the top five greatest programs in the history of college football, in my opinion. Certainly top ten. And there's no all they've ever done is win games in every era of college football in 150 years. So I don't think they're going to have any problem in the SEC. There's a lot of talk in Norman about is OU SEC ready. What does that exactly mean as someone that's seen the SEC, both as a fan base and also just on the field? I think it's naive. I, I think that that comes from, again, when I was a student at, at, at Tennessee, uh, far before you were born, <laughs> but I remember we played a game at UCLA. And all these SEC people were like, ah, you know, you see, I'm like, gosh, they're really good. I mean, you know, they won Rose Bowl last year. And so, but I just think, and, and, and it's part of what makes the SEC so great is there's, there's, a, there's a pride and there's a self-confidence, but there's also kind of a, a self-centeredness when it comes to just understanding what the conference is. And so they don't know what they're getting into with Oklahoma. And so Oklahoma's be fine. I, I don't, I've heard that a lot. Are they SEC ready? Yes. If you've seen the facilities and you know the history and you've been to the game day experience, I have, I, have no, I have no question that they're ready. Lastly, I want to ask you about Brent Venables. Disappointing first year in Norman, but what are maybe your impressions of him so far and your expectations of him going forward? I'm going to talk to him uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, and I'm, I'm, I hope to, because, listen, the learning curve is super steep. And, and even for a legendary assistant coach, it's what he, I, I, I was talking to Sam Pittman earlier today. Sam Pittman is, won the National Assistant Coach of the Year Award however many times, and coached at every great program and he's the first one to tell you he thought he knew what being a head coach was till he had to do it and now he's in year three and things have slowed down and he understands the job because it's a CEO job and I think Brent will probably tell you the same thing there's a learning curve you had to take the job that's the dream job for him and so they're going to be fine but I think you have to learn how to run practice and you have to learn what you want out of the weight room and you have to learn how to manage boosters and when the quarterback's girlfriend breaks up with him and all these things that you don't think you're going to have to deal with as an X's and O's guy, he's going to be fine, I, I believe. Yeah. Well, thanks to Ryan for joining us. Make sure you guys follow him on ESPN and make sure you guys stay on Soonerscoop.com for all our coverage of SEC Media Days.